Today I'm changing out two defrost boards that I uh, diagnosed last week. Uh, both units, we've got two Linux uh, HP27s outside and both of them had bad defrost boards. Uh, I'll show that to you here in a second and explain to you what they're doing. But I've got another video that kind of covers uh, diagnosing the defrost board. So uh, we're going to change these out and I'm going to take you with me. Let's do it. Okay, so we got two uh, defrost boards that are bad, and you can see right here we've got the thermostat set to cool, um, and we have 24 volts applied to the yellow and the orange, being these are heat pump and calling for cooling. Uh, our status lights are showing that it's in a normal operation, which means that it's uh, in a standby. Uh, there's no call to the the board, um, so it's not going to do anything. So. Uh, they're both doing the same thing. This one here is a little bit more updated board. Uh, the same board Linux uses. Or I guess this is a Linux, so uh, this is a Linux board. And it's doing the same thing. Uh, normal operation. It has 24 volts to uh, the yellow and orange. And uh, it should be running, but the board's uh, pretty much stopping it from running. So get these changed out and uh, fire them up and test them out. We are going to power everything down. Want no accidents and uh, verify your power's off before you touch anything. Okay, so we got a new board here. Um, you can see it's got it's a lot more updated uh, compared to this board here. And even when you compare it to the other board on the other unit, it's got more updated features to it. Uh, looks like they use a little bit less resistors, certain spots. Things look a lot more cleaner on this new board. So let's get them put in. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get the uh, low voltage unhooked. These are gonna go, be going back on the same spot. Uh, a lot of the other things are going to be going into a different spot, but with the same meaning and uh, mainly the same marking on there. You can see, you know, Y1 uh, out common. On here, you'll have a Y1 out common. You know, high pressure switch. They just may be in a different spot, so kind of got to pay attention to that. You can't just start unplugging and plugging so what I've always done and uh, what I'll continue to do is unplug one wire put it back where it's supposed to go so we've got our fan wire uh, it goes to our condenser fan motor took that off this board put it on the other on the new one same thing for this one this is our high voltage that feeds this terminal here, this normally closed switch, um, when it calls for cooling or heating for the heat pump, it energizes the switch and goes to the to the fan motor. Uh, next, we'll do our Y out. So this is going to be Y out, and here it says Y out. Plug it right there. Our Y out common. And for that, it doesn't matter which one goes where. Um, high pressure switch. This one's got it jumped out. So we'll remove that, that jumper. Put it on our high pressure switch terminal. Uh, let's see. We got our defrost.
put it on our defrost terminal. <clears throat> we got our, our reversing valve, our O. Let's see, it goes down to the reversing valve down there. Got it plugged in. Just a quick tip for you guys uh, when you do put these terminals on this board before you start it up you want to make sure that they are not touching you can just kind of flex it a little bit like see that defrost switch there it's not touching but it's a little close for comfort uh, that switch is normally open so if that does make contact then it will uh, trip the board and lock it out so it's gonna make sure everything's evenly spaced out and uh, you'll be good we have a uh ambient temperature sensor that we're not going to be putting back on um, as well as a service light thermostat uh, this goes right to the discharge of the compressor you can see it down there it's a, almost like a defrost sensor we're not going to be reusing that we're taking that off and getting rid of it see here Cut it out, and then we've got this ambient temperature sensor that goes uh, inside the condenser. They're Mr. Compensator, that's what they labeled it. But. Okay, so now we're ready to get this old board out, put the new board in, get our low voltage terminals hooked back up, and we will fire this thing up. This one actually looks pretty good. Something internal. The misters always get really hot. They start to burn up. All right, so we already got our holes there. Gotta push our pins in one at a time. Get our little voltage hooked back up here. Hey, kind of awkward. I'm just gonna snug it up, make sure they're all nice and snug. And 
make sure they're all separated. Push a little pigtail back in. Gotta love the pigtail. We've got a, a new sheet of diagnostics here for the next guy. I don't know if this unit will last long enough for the next guy, but uh, I'm just gonna stick it in here. I'm not gonna stick it to the unit. That way they can pull it out and check it out if they need to. But we're ready to get this thing fired up. So I'm going to go power the unit up, turn it cooling, and uh, test this puppy out. Oh. One last thing I almost forgot about. Is anytime I change a board out, I change out this uh, defrost sensor. I've seen a few go bad in my times. So... Go ahead and take care of this one. <clears throat> Sit that down on the ground there. I'll route my wires up into the cabinet. Deep cross right there. And we've just pop a new one on. We've got our defrost down here. Got a new defrost sensor on there. And we'll clean all these wires up and take all this unnecessary stuff out of here. But for now, I'm going to fire this thing up and test it out. Okay, got the uh, thermostat turned on, so it should be in a five minute or anti-short cycle and we are so it's a uh, alternating flash it's going to be a time delay or anti-short cycle so once this uh delay is done the unit should fire up and uh, we can test it out and make sure they're going to be okay for uh so they can replace these units Gotta love waiting on a time delay. If I could just get all the five minutes back, I'd have maybe a couple years of time. Well, there she goes. All right. So she's fired up, as you can see. Uh, sounds like a beast, you know, it's an older machine. And uh, it's a little loud, but it is what it is. Feels like we got some warm air coming out of the top. I'm gonna get some uh, gauges hooked up to this unit. And uh, you know the deal, check the temperature splits uh, across the uh, A-frame coil inside. And uh, I'm just gonna let it run, watch it while I start replacing the other board and the other unit. I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's, it's the same exact thing. Uh, the only difference is that they've already eliminated the coil sensor and some of the stuff that I had to get rid of on the other the other board because it's just obsolete now. So uh, same same get up, almost identical board on this one here, uh, wire for wire almost. Okay, guys, we got them both uh, both defrost boards put in uh, on these HP 27 Lennox units, about 20 years old. Got the wires cleaned up. Got them all uh, nice and purdied up, and we're just checking our our pressures. Uh, we'll go inside, check our temperature splits, and that's about it. I mean, everything's lo looking looking good so far. Got my clamps inside. I'm just checking my sub cool. We got one thermostat here. There's a thermostat upstairs, and that controls uh, the the one zone system. 
Uh, and then we have another unit on this side of the house. Controls just this, this side of the house. And this back lanai, you can see that thermostat there. Beautiful house. These people are selling this home. Uh, I think they want to sell it with the units that they have. So they just had us repair it. And uh, that way they can get it on the market. I think they're already closing. And uh, this is kind of holding them up. So I'm glad I was able to help these guys out. Uh, fix these old old units out that a lot of people said they couldn't fix and uh, Now they can sell this this beautiful house. So Man look at this This is nice Their own private pond and all Thanks for watching guys uh, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something today, you know hit that like button for me It helps me out uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything I come out with in the future. We're going to have some good videos coming up, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that really nice uh, pond in the back. I keep a fishing pole in my van. This little thing is portable as heck. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to get this thing rigged up and go see what's in there.